Hi there folks, this is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. And we'll put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you'd like to see the pricing on this unit, follow that link over to our website where all of our prices are listed. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranties as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, you can call my brother Luke in our office at 419 899 2020. For sale today, we have a 2014 Pleasure Way Pursuit. All right, folks, now we're going to go through the inside of this Pleasure Way Pursuit. As always, we'll start at the front, make our way towards the back of this unit, and then come back towards the front. I'm going to try to get you a few different angles of the inside of this RV so you can get a feel for the space as well as the overall condition. For those of you that do follow us on YouTube, you'll know that I had a 2013 Pleasure Way Pursuit in here about a week ago, uh, maybe two weeks tops. Uh, had a lot of views on that one, had a lot of interest, ended up selling that in about three or four days after being on the lot. Uh, with all the response and interest, we decided that maybe we should find some more of these Pleasure Way Pursuits. Did a little bit of searching and ended up with this one. I have a quite a few people that was wanting to know when we'd have the next one in. So uh, getting pictures of this one and video. Here as soon as possible that I could of this unit for you. This is a 2014, has 29,000 miles on it. Uh, very, very clean unit, been stored indoors its whole entire life. Has the beautiful maple flavored cabinetry all the way throughout. Cabinets everywhere around that they could put cabinets. They have cabinets. Blu-ray or DVD player. Power inverter. Got all our books in there. The table for the rear. Stuffed in behind the driver's seat. Nice big wardrobe with the table legs stuffed in there. We do have carpet in the cockpit with vinyl flooring here. living area with uh, carpet back in the bedroom. Uh, one of the things that we have not gotten done yet that I hope to get done here uh, beginning of the next week, uh, they painted uh, this window on the door here to give themselves a little privacy. Uh, guys should have no problem getting that taken off of there for you. Didn't have to do a whole lot to this one. It was pretty much this clean when it came in. Uh, the guys gave it a quick uh, Quick steam clean on the carpet and things like that, but uh, really was overall pretty pretty clean when it came in. Got our tank systems monitor here on the left, as well as all of our controls. Master control switch here for pretty much everything in this RV. Behind door number one here is the restroom. Uh, that door swings towards the front towards me, so we'll take a peek inside the restroom when we come back towards the front. Got this beautiful Corian backsplash and Corian countertops. Single basin kitchen sink. Two burner cooktop. This does close flat. Gives you a little extra counter space there when you have that closed if you're not cooking. Lots of drawers, storage under the sink. Uh, propane furnace. Nice big stainless front fridge and freezer. That will run on 110 volt or propane gas. We do have the grill to convection microwave slash convection oven. Again, cabinetry everywhere. Anywhere that they have space for cabinets or storage space, they have utilized it. Nice big uh, skylight here, just over the bed. All of these shades are power. Hit the button, they run up and down. Both of the side windows can open on those cool mornings and cool evenings. You can open those side windows, get a nice cross breeze. I really love what uh, Pleasure Way did with the the bed here. Uh, it's not a traditional two-part jackknife sofa here. Uh, we're currently sliding forward. We have to slide it forward away from the wall before we can tilt the bed down. But you'll see when it starts to tilt down here that there's a center section that actually pops up in between the bottom cushion and the top cushion. To make you one very large bed back here 
Uh, when I first seen this, I was actually like, ah, people may not be a huge fan because the bed's not going to be very, very big. Uh, but what they've done here, as you can see, this middle section pops up. Take these armrests, drop those in there like that. Push that down for you. And it makes one huge big bed back here. I love what they did with this. Uh, definitely very functional. Uh, you get that nice big bed, but you don't have to leave it as a bed. You can use it as your dining area. Uh, just a really comfortable, comfortable, awesome thing they did with this, uh, this sofa back here. For video purposes and time, I'm not going to run it back up, so I'll crawl on top here. So we can get our front views. Uh, thermostat for the propane furnace. Again, back here we have another uh, control panel that you can run pretty much everything inside this RV. Got the hour meter for the Onan 4K generator. That's 23 and a half hours on that. Rooftop air conditioning. You can see the fantastic fan in the ceiling up there. Why is Alabama the smartest state in the USA? Because they have four A's and one B. Really, truly a beautiful unit. Um, I really like these pursuits. It's a 22 foot unit. Lots of space in here. There's lots of headroom. I'm six, two, six, three on a good day. Um, I don't have any issues walking through this one. Plenty of headroom. Got the nice uh, marble looking, your granite looking backsplash in the bathroom, bathroom sink, toilet. Nice big enclosed, glass enclosed shower. It also has that uh, granite looking backsplash in that. Skylight overhead. Gives you the light. Also has some extra headroom if you're taller. Got the sliding shower head there. All right, you notice a slight jump in the movie there. I had a phone call that I had to take, but getting back at it to finish up this video. Uh, like I said, very, very clean, beautiful unit. Uh, I love these pursuits. I would rate this thing at about a nine and a half. Uh, you can't ever, I've never seen a perfect one, uh, but this is definitely a very close, clean, beautiful unit. For those of you that don't know, that don't follow us, we are a small family owned and operated dealership. Nestled in the northwest corner of Ohio. Small town family values. No pressure sales. If you want to spend a day, afternoon, an hour lounging in this one or any one of our RVs, you're more than welcome to do so. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. The best little RV dealer around since 1976. All right, folks, I'm going to run you around the outside of this Pleasure Way Pursuit. We are 22 feet from bumper to bumper. We have six brand new tires. We have a 12 foot power awning. This is on the Ford E350 chassis. It's powered by the 6.8 liter V10 engine. Here we've got our city water connection. Small little storage compartment. Vent for your furnace. A couple of exterior outlets. A uh, pretty good sized storage compartment here. You got a jack up there. Also got the shore power cord laying in the bottom of that compartment. Spare tire mounted on the rear. We do have the tow package, as well as the backup camera. Storage compartment on this corner. Gonna fill our propane tank here. Sewer hose storage. Gasoline tank. Vent and access to the back of our refrigerator. Our Cummins Onan 4K gasoline generator. City water connection, cable TV connection, remote turn off for our, our uh, LP gas. And last but not least, our shore power cord connection and our access and vent for our hot water heater. Ooh.